so I ended up buying it and bringing it home. Um, this isn't the first day that I've had it home. So I've already messed with it a little bit, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of overspray on the chrome. I need new rims. This hood body line right here doesn't sit flush. I need new seats. But, otherwise the car is from Kansas, it's been its life in Kansas, so it's pretty much rust free. I might do a trunk pan um, late fall, winter, but other than that there's no rust repair to do on it, so it's, uh, that's that part is awesome. So it'll pretty much just be pulling out a few dents and a new paint job, but there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot, a lot of work to do. These we're just completely covered in overspray and there's just a lot of work that's got to be done to get it nice again. But I'm so happy that I got it. It's gonna be a fun project. Let's take a look at another hood here. Like I said, I've already messed with stuff a little tiny bit, cleaned stuff up a hair. It's got a small battery drain. So when the car's off, I leave it unplugged. I'm gonna start hunting that down. Clean some more stuff up. I've already replaced the spark plugs and the air filter. The hideaway headlights, uh, the headlights work and everything, but the motor for the headlight, uh, hideaway headlight doors is missing. So I gotta get one of those. Pretty much uh, all the motors from 70 to 82 for any of the Chrysler cars will work, so it doesn't have to be a charger. If you know of one for a decent price, let me know. I'm looking. This uh, front windshield, I don't know if this is going to be able to be taken out. I've never dealt with anything like this before, but I th I'm hoping that these windshield marks can be buffed out. You can't feel them, so they can't be very deep. I think they'll buff out. But yeah, so uh, stay tuned because um, I'm going to have some restoration videos on this guy. It'll be a lot of fun. Alright everybody.